Good afternoon, everyone. You'll probably see this in the evening by the time I edit it and everything. I'm sorry, first of all, for not doing a Merry Monday. I um, oh, I wasn't even going to do today, but I just felt like I needed to. I'm in a, a lot of pain. Um, a lot of, and my stomach, like, um, I feel like very gassy. I think I'm constipated, and so I'm just hurting. I even slept today. I didn't want to get out of bed. Well, it's really a rainy, gloomy day. And so for me, sometimes those days, oh, it feels good just to stay in bed. And I had a late night and then the uh, Jacob upstairs, he woke up and he never goes and gets his papa or mama. He comes and gets Tia. And I could hear his little voice from the top of the stairs, Tia, come upstairs. So we went and curled up on the couch together, which isn't the best sleeping. It's not a good couch. And furthermore, my age and my weight sleeping on that couch. So, but I finally got him back in bed and I think it was 3.30, almost 4 in the morning. And so then, whew, I crashed. So I debated today what to do. I know a lot of people doing Tag Tuesday. Um, and for me, Tag Tuesday, I'm kind of, I need to do some binge watching and find some new tags to make is what I need to do. But today I turned on my... Uh, YouTube and uh, Ruby and Pearl XO her video was on my main thing so I'm just going to put a little hand cream on um, hands are really bad right now um, and so uh, I thought these pockets were really cute um, it's something I've started using more in my journals but I hadn't made a pocket out of it yet so I thought oh this is perfect um, I love learning new pockets and new styles, and so I like to share that. Now, this is the I made one as a demo just to practice myself. I knew it wouldn't be difficult, but you know, just to kind of, I'm just gonna put a little more hand cream on it. So we're gonna work on that. Um, I just want to say hi to everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, here in Quebec, Canada. It's rainy, dreary. It's a little chilly. I think it's more that damp feeling you get. But I don't mind the rain because in the summers get here so dry and our water gets very low. Um, so we need all the rain we can get. So I don't mind some rainy days. And it's a good excuse to sleep in. That's what I like to say for rainy days. So what we're going to be doing, I just put some things in this pocket because I was seeing from my... I have boxes of things that I've either completed or not completed. And so I was going through and pulling some things out. So this is just a paper bag. And I actually am lucky because this one paper bag I have, it's like really a strong paper bag. Whenever I go to the grocery store, um, and uh, like, especially if I go to one called IGA, a lot of times they put, if you don't bring in a reusable bag, you pay a quarter for a paper bag. And I do that because I want the paper bag. Especially this, this grocery store bags, they're so durable. So I've got a few of them saved up. And I've made, I made tags out of them and different things using them. Um, I use them for clusters and things like that. I'm not even sure if I have a tag somewhere close by that I made using. But anyways, so it's basically a pocket uh, from a paper bag. I, my collaging is very simple. Now, Ruby and Pearl did this, and she has beautiful uh, velvet fabric. I don't have that. So when I'm home in Guelph hitting the, vin the thrift stores, I'm going to look for some old velvet tops that I can cut up because it. I'll, I'll try to link her if I remember. Sometimes I forget when I go to edit to link everything. I'll try to link her video on this because hers are fabulous. Um, I don't have some of the supplies she has, and she's using some of her own kit which one of the kits I do own um already because she's one of my it's one of my ruby and pearls one of my favorite digital people in a minute you're going to hear a little boy talk to me he just coming home from school so um I just had this scrap so I wanted to use it up and then I used washi tape and just I did a simple little collage and then I went through my box of stuff that I hadn't put away and I thought this kind of matched nicely now this is from a book page um, sometimes in a book page you'll get, do I have one close by? Yeah. You'll get ones like this. This one happened to be like 
almost as thick as cardstock. So it's what I used because it was nice and thick. And I didn't have to, I don't have to layer it. And then I have just like kind of a simple collage. I use a fleece, like a bounty fleece, then some tool, a, digi a, a picture I print it. And just this is, um, I make these ones. I have a lot of other ones I've bought, but I like, I, I buy a lot of them and a lot of the things I don't use in my work, in my letters. So I start making my own. Um, so, and I thought it looked pretty in there. And then I thought this tag was nice too. Again, this is just done with a book page. Um, I fold them, let's see, like this one, but this one I think is a pocket. Nope. Oh no, this is a flip. But um, I just fold the book page over. Sometimes I'll put um, another book page in between if I don't find it sturdy enough. But by the time I layer the papers on it, it's things. So I folded the book page over, put an, um, this is a printable that I found that is just supposed to look like vintage paper. And then I aged it up, tore it up a little bit. And then I just then did some collaging and then added a digital and just a quick staple. I, this has become one of my favorite things to do is just the staple, the lace on the top. And so I thought, well, maybe she'll go in there nicely in that pocket. So, and in, like when you put it in the digital, you could easily just glue it down on the other sides and put it in there as well. So that's kind of why I stuck two in there. So then it's ready. So I'm putting it in my ready. So. Let me see what I have. I've got some different paper bags here. Um, some are folded in half because sometimes I put these in um, in journals like this. And I like it because I like this. I like that folded over. So I have a couple of those. Um, these are just scraps. This could be a pocket. And then, oh, I have two already folded. Oh, yeah, I did that. I was playing to see what length and size. So basically, that's all you're going to do. Tear it however you want. I want the roughness to it. Um, um, even in Ruby and Pearl, she kind of leaves a nice chunk out of one side. And then, oh, it's it's her, she's beautiful, her work. I love watching Ruby and Pearl. I'm just trying to get that even. But even if that's not even, it's something I could go in and trim up. So what I decided, I have... I'm a part of a design team for May, and I've got to do some things because I'm leaving in a week to go home for three weeks for a wedding and a baby shower and to spend some time with my mom because I won't get home again. I might not see my family till next fe February. We have a big um, family and f close friend trip planned for Jamaica next year. So for me to go home on train, it's $300. So me and my sister and my mom were talking that instead of me coming home like in the summer for a week and again in in November for a week, it might be better that $600 that can go towards the trip because um, it's like we decided to really go up. So anyway, so I need to do some more. Tomorrow I'll do more of the Rachel and Bella. It's Get Your Chic On and I'm the guest design team for May, so I need to work on some of that. Um, so I just have some of her. So I figured that was best to do. Um, was to do one of the pockets using hers. And then I have this journal that I need to finish for a customer in Guelph where I'm going home. So I thought if I have enough time, I'll make a pocket for that journal. Two very different journals, um, but that's fine. So I just have my scrap still sitting on my desk from that. And so I'm just going to see, I think this one is going to fit. I just wanted to see, this is going to be the journal eventually that I'm going to do for Get On Your Chic. It's going to be a what's called a flip-flop journal. So I just want to see. That might be a little big. And then this might be. But when the pages go in. So this might be the better size. Now. So we'll start with that one. And I'm going to. This is the scraps I've used so far in her journal. So I wanted to see. Excuse me, there I go yawning. Ooh, terrible. I get on video. I just, I don't feel well. I really just want to go back to bed. I just hurt. And sometimes I feel the only comfortable position I can find myself in is laying on my side. Um, it, it's not a kidney stone because I, I used to get kidney stones several times. 
it almost feels like I can't go to the bathroom, but I am going to the bathroom and it's, I know people are going to tell me it's a bladder infection, but it's not because I don't have anything else. I just have really bad pain. I'm trying to see, do, I don't think I want to, you're not really going to see, I'm thinking would that look nice? Sometimes what I'll do is just bend it a little lightly to see. I don't want to rip a new paper. I want to kind of use these up. And that's a little, I mean, you. it doesn't have to be the full size. I really like this one, but I want it a little bit more of the paper bag covered. Back to that. I'm going to go just do this one. But I think I'm going to go here. But what I'm going to do is I don't want, well, I'll wait till I tear where I want to tear it. I think I'm going to go this way. So a lot of times what I'll do, how I tear it, I need my tear ruler. Because I don't want an even edge. I want it to look a little bit more um, torn. And this ruler is great for that. So I'm just going to take a little off the top. Do I throw this away? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <laughs> so I know I'm going to go this way with it. So a lot of times this is how I end up tearing it. I just kind of put it, did I already, yeah, I already folded it over. Boop. I'm going to tell you my brain is not fully functioning. Even I'm trying to decide what to cook for dinner I think first it was chicken nuggets but then I might do grilled cheese and tomato soup I will probably won't have it myself but make it for them and Jacob loves grilled cheese and tomato soup and since it's a nice rainy day um and not too hot it's perfect now the problem is I did that and I should have roughed up this edge a bit and this might not tear Okay, so we're just going to leave it. It's just the way it is. There we go. And my pocket folds over here. So I just want to see how much. I always put a little under, but not all. And so we're going to... I should have made that a little bit wider. But what I might do... I wish I had a different color because these colors are too close. Um, I'm a bum. I know what I think I want, but I don't know if I have it in my scrap box. We'll see if I have a piece. See, there's what's left of that, two pieces left of that scrap. These are some butterflies I made, and they shouldn't be in my scrap box, but that was the closest place I could put them right now when I was making them. I know what I want. The question is, I want something like this, but the question is, and because I feel this so constipated, what I ended up doing is I made myself a big salad. Uh, I thought, you know, lettuce, well, not it's not big because I didn't add what I normally all add to my salad because I was feeling lazy. I just added tomatoes. Oh, look at that. That tag will go perfectly in there. Why it's in my scrap bin <laughs> never know. Who knows sometimes when I'm thinking, when I put something somewhere. Oh, I don't have any more of that. It's one of my favorites. I usually print it and keep it on hand to tear because it's one of my favorite things. Okay, so not in that scrap bin. I have so many scrap bins. I need to just spend a day collaging, but that'll probably have to wait till I come home. I got some orders to finish and get mailed out. I got a journal to finish. Um, I'm just seeing if it quickly in this scrap box if I have a piece. As you can see, my scraps are out of hand. Nope, I don't. Just double check in there. Nope, I don't. So sad, too bad. There's only one other place that, because I know what I want, and I know it'll be perfect in there. The question is, do I have a piece somewhere? It's something I usually always have. Oh, I do. Look at that. 
I knew it. I knew it. I always have a piece of that going. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I forgot to put the butterflies away and the hearts. So we'll just put them up here in another basket. <laughs> but it's a better basket to put it in. So I, because I did that a little close, I might go ahead and tear this a little bit more. Oh, make sure the ruler's going the right way or it won't tear. Oh. And then there's difficulties tearing. I'm not worried about how that looks. Jacob, I'm surprised, didn't say anything. I guess he's getting used to it. I, um, When he comes home, he has a mama grow grow. It's a lion I bought him when we first moved into St. Jerome from uh, Montreal, which is the bigger city. I forgot to put those scraps away. Um, and because he loved lions, he had watched The Lion King and fell in love with lions. And we found this uh, beanie lion. Um, and it became, he has another lion, and that's Papa Grau. And then he's got a monkey, but for some reason he named them a, a monkey that I gave him for Valentine's Day. But he named the monkey um, Tia Grau Grau. And then there's Mama Grau Grau that's in his arms that sleeps. He falls asleep with it. Sometimes when he's just feeling a little anxious, it's there too. Um, it's his buddy. Um, and uh, so... Uh, so you can see a lot of my collaging. It's got that paper in. I love it. Um, and he falls asleep with the paw and he rubs that paw till he falls asleep. And the other day I had to lift him into bed, which I can't do anymore. Oh my goodness. It's not so much he's heavy. It's he's long. He's very tall for his age. And so the, when I was putting him to bed the other night when he got up, oh, there's a helicopter flying over. Um, he, uh, he, his arm had fallen down. Oh, I picked him up and carried him into his bed and I hit his head on the door, but thank goodness, not hard, not hard, because I can't walk that fast when I'm carrying that heavy load. Um, and, uh, so I'm going to glue this down. I know I could make it smaller, but I'm not going to try ripping that all. I'm not going to make my life that difficult. Um, but when I picked him up at first, his arm was ho hanging over the side of the couch and lo and behold, he still had a hold of Mama Grau Grau, just, just hanging off the side in his hand while he's sleeping. It's amazing. And you're going to see that I leave a little bit up at the top. I, I was just thinking I, something else I might collage into it. And it's funny, I've been using more washi tape in my projects, yet back into my washi tape. I have lots of it. And in fact, I want some different colors now, so I might have to buy some new ones. <laughs> I got... I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, perfect. I'm going to glue this down. I, I really need to get a book, an old book again, and glue in it instead really do really really do because I want a little bit of that from the top so I'm going to collage that there there we go oh. <sighs> and it's drying quickly oh, darn it darn it darn it darn it I'm going to have to go this way and I'm just thinking, I hope I'm in frame here. There we go. That's better. Do it this way and then I'm better at... There we go. And I'm going to leave it like that. I need to add a little glue to that corner, which is always my problem. Then, what I thought was neat, because we always use... I'm just going to trim that little corner off. We always use glue to glue the sides up. In this video... She took her washi tape, and I think I'm, I'm trying to decide between two colors, and I think I'm going to go with this, this one. 
Got to put my glasses down so I can see. Now it's going to be a little difficult because it's older and I don't have a microwave to heat it up 10 seconds and get the glue. Just want to see how long. And then I, to make it more durable, I do run glue on it because washi, washi's like that. It does loot that glue on the back. So I want to make sure it, oh, wait, I want to cover the bottom first. We'll put that washi tape to the side. Now, thinking this isn't long enough that way, but this is. But I'll probably use this. Again, this time I'm not gonna worry so much about the tear ruler. Oh, you gotta go down to where I want it. Make sure I get it. There we go. And kind of here. And kind of there. There we go. Just want to ink this up. Now, she covered it with lace and velvet. I didn't do it with these pockets. I might go in later and put some lace on this. I just, I'm not sure. Um, if I can find some blur, I will do some more eventually with the blur. But um, there we go. What I might do is... Uh, Oops. I might not cover the whole thing in lace. I might put a little piece here or something. Um, and then now back to the washi tape. Oh, I already have a piece. Let's re-glue it. So instead of gluing the pockets down and losing some of the pocket space, she took her washi tape. And I'm just trying to do it pretty even. Here, and she then she folded it over I always make mine a little longer because sometimes that's just easier to deal with then trim it off and do something with this just I'm not gonna waste that piece of washi I'm gonna stick it on this digital here and this eventually will be used on something. There we go. And again over here. I thought this was genius, especially for those that may have a lot of washi tape and you want to start using it. This is a great idea. Now you could put it higher if you wanted to, but you don't want to really lose that space in your pocket. And then just fold it over. Again, I'm going to cut that. I'm not going to fold that over too much because I don't want to I'm going to stick that on another piece here. There we go. We won't waste that washi. We'll use it. I don't think I cut that low enough. There we go. And there we've done the pockets. All right. And so now we have a full pocket without having to worry about the glue. Isn't that genius? It, I thought it was great. I was like, what? <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little piece of this and I'm going to put it here. But I'm also, oh, I forgot to put a little glue on it. See how easy that is to peel off? That's why. And I don't want it even like I want it the, do I want to go this way and have that down that way? And yes, I didn't put it all the way to the top because I'm going to pull in a little bit more. I need a little bling bling if I can find where this one starts. 
There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and add that along the top. And then I'll probably put a little bit of this bling bling in here once I decide on how I want to go with the lace. And yes, I wanted it longer on each side. I didn't want it even. And then I've collaged a little bit on the top. There we go. Even if I wanted to, I could have taken, it might be too stuck now. And I could have even put this up in the corner up here if I wanted to. If I wanted to take away from some of that brown, which I kind of think in, I don't know if it's going to be too much. So I have to make that decision quick. I'm going to pop my glasses down so I can see better. I bought these really funky reading glasses. The problem with them is they have a stretch to them. And when I put them up on my head, they don't stay up on my head. And I like when I'm, especially on video, look at how fancy these reading glasses are. And they're so clear. I love them. Except for they made them where the arm kind of does this. Flexible. So when I put them up on my head, of course, they flex and then they slide down constantly. But I got them because I'm going to a wedding and I thought, oh, instead of wearing my funny little reading ones, I wanted some nice reading glasses to look a little more classier. And originally my outfit was a pair of leopard printed pants that I bought from Temu, but they didn't fit. I had a feeling because they were a 4X and I, in 4X, normally a 4X in regular sizes, but coming from where it does, it wasn't doing it. Yes, I'm a big girl. There we go. So I just added, maybe I shouldn't have put so much up there. Maybe it's too much up there. It's kind of too much bling bling up there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll just put a little coming out of the pocket there. There we go. Too much bling bling. Too much. There we go. Just looking at something that I could maybe put in the corner, but I'm going to leave it. Maybe I'll find a flower or something. I put it up there or this is too parasy so I don't think it really suits it so there's the pocket and then you can fill it I'm gonna just better glue that corner on um, and I'll probably put a little bit of lace here and probably a little more of the bling here down here maybe I may not might just put some lace here or some tool or something. I might put tool over the hole. Do I, what color of tool do I have? That's blue, pink. I have to go with pink. Oh, what was that that I dropped? Oh, a lipstick. <laughs> There's always lipstick everywhere. I'm a lipstick girl. Lipstick and a powder thing is always in my purse. Maybe if I wanted to. How would I get that? I don't want to really add glue. That would look nice. But I'm going to think about that because I, I want to figure out how I would attach it. Because I can't really staple it. I don't want a big staple sitting through. So there we go. And so that pocket is ready to go when I get the journal put together. And I have even things that already, this is I think a little too wide. Nope, nope, it fits. I have that that I could put in there. And it's just a piece of book page I folded over. Put some writing in the middle of it. And I had someone sent this to me. And I collaged a little with just a little bit of stuff. And, and I could put writing on the back as well. So I do have that that could go in there. And she kind of suits this too. So that could easily be in that pocket so and this is just a tag I made out of book page covered it it's really I cut it short I want it to look very blunt again it's just a piece of digital um, with some tool and a digital digital ladies that I make and I do sell them in my shop as well there we go and isn't that it, there it's done the pocket is loaded other than I'm going to decide what I'm going to put here so there we go 
All right, and now the little, the other journal. Let, let's move this over. Let's pull this journal out because I want to see where it's going to go. And again, I, if I glue this into the journal, I might put a longer, this one's too long, but I might put a longer tag to the top. Um, I don't think I have anything close by that's more lengthy. But when I do it, this is not the one that'll go in there. When I do it, I want something that's going to stick out. So I'll put, like, I might do a cluster one onto the top. So I use clusters as tabs. So I'm probably going to need to make one more. Um, oh, you know what I could do? I'm not going to do it now. But in Rachel's uh, digital, can't get it on. She has really cute pictures. It's like a teapot or a teacup might look really good. Oh, one of those butterflies might look good. Or one of the circles. So there's some things I can add. So one of those might go on. And if I do that, I'm not going to do it right now. If I take one of these circles, I might turn it into another little pocket. I'll see. But so I have the fussy cuts. Uh, this paper is just beautiful. Get it on. Get your chic on. And that's in Rachel and Bella, Bella Etsy shop. And Or I might use one of her tags to go into the top. That way I pulled in her tag. And use one of those tags for the top. And I'm going to build a cluster tab to the top. So I have something all lacy and ribbony sticking out from the top. So that's how I'll probably, when I finish it, I will show it. Okay, so here, I want to decide where this pocket's going. You'll see that I put some things in here that I'm already thinking. <coughs> 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 this book is not going to be highly embellished. She did what she wanted a lot of writing space. She's going to use this for her wedding planning. So I I'm trying to give her lots of pockets. I'm putting a lot of these things to do in it so that she, and I've got to fix the bottom of that um, throughout it. But she wanted like, so I put like an envelope in it. And most people are saying, well, that doesn't look very wet inning. But this is what she wanted. She chose the digital kit. The paper she chose because I was selling my colored paper and she liked those papers. So I added those all into the journal. So we found a, a digital kit that she really liked um, and then added it in. And so the hard part about this is I find this so beautiful. I don't want to cover any of it. Um, it's really hard. So here I might just make a small pocket on this side. And I I had a glassine bag. A small. I thought I had a small glassine bag that I thought I'd pop there. Because I don't want to take that whole pocket up. Oh, that's an... Or I could always do something like this where you see through it, right? But again, once you put something in it, she's, you're not going to see it. Um, so I might take one of these. I don't really want to cut it down, but I thought, well, maybe I'll cut it down. Or I'll make my own vellum pocket so that it's smaller. And just put a vellum pocket here with a nice long tag that she can write a lot on the back. So this is where this journal has kind of given me a little problem because I just love the paper the way it is, but I want to give her tuck spots. And here I don't have a problem. I'm going to put a nice long pocket, which, see, I don't want something this big, I don't think. So I might have to go, do I have another piece here? If I fold this over, I could make it. And because it's so colorful, in this case, I might cover much more of the bag. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That's where that pocket is going to go. And you'll see, like this, I'm going to turn, I'm going to probably build a belly band there. I'll probably put something more on it just to make it a little tighter. I did that on purpose. Though, see, there's where I thought I'd put the glassine bag so that the birdie was still showing. Oh, but the, the wrong way. So it's, this one has been more of a challenge. I've already made some pockets. 
And a lot of times I use the same paper just so that it, the beauty of it isn't lost. And this bag, I cut off some of the top and I fold it over and I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue it this way and put a, a tag in this way and then have, um, I might put another belly, I'm what I'm thinking. And then there should be a pocket that she could keep receipts in or whatever. So now that I've gone off topic, I apologize. It was all really just to find out. <laughs> Okay, her papers. Where did I put her papers? You know, I put her paper, this the papers for this somewhere. And I took me an almost half an hour to know where I stashed it. And then it was in the simplest place. I overlooked it like three or four times. So I'm going to just put that gold oh, to the back now. And the pink, because I wasn't sure if I was going to use pinks or golds on there. And I just pulled this out and I had these out for that other pocket I was working on. This is kind of mauvey, so I think it'll work. I don't have a lot of purple washi and purple's my favorite. <gasps> oh, I, ha I haven't taken a picture of this yet. It came on, I got it on Friday and I have to thank the girl, but I think um, Catherine, she sent me a beautiful, look at a package full of stuff for happy now. It's amazing. Yeah, she was having a problem with Amazon and sending to Canada. So she went to Timu, put my address in. It's free shipping. And because of what the shipping would have cost her with Amazon, she said, plus what the product was going to cost, she could get me so much more. So that was a happy mail I got from Catherine. And I have to get a picture taken of it today. That's why it's still sitting in the box. But this has got pretty washi tape. That might go. So... We're going to pull that out. Got, 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 glad I thought of that. Okay, now to choose the papers. Sorry, I'm going to, because I'm always going to be looking for those scraps. I see I made those thing to-do list. I made them. This one I didn't tear properly. It's a journal card, which could probably, might go in it. Okay, I'm looking for a scrap. What's the, I want to see what the, reason I've left this, I'm going to put this up here so I can see what the background paper is. So I don't go too wild. I thought I had more scraps. Here are some scraps. Is that it? I'm just, sometimes I like to use the scraps up. All right, so that, oh, that might be perfect. Yep, that's the one scrap I'm going to use. Let me just fold this, put this over here. The, but the first thing we've got to do is we got to just tear that just a little bit. Oh, you know what? And this one I might not tear. I might just, it's, there we go. I might not tear at all on this. And this one, I'm not, this one, I'm really going to use, show less of the bag. Really, really, really less of the bag. There we go. Perfect. I like that one there. That was nice and easy. Whew. Things sometimes don't go together. Even in that pocket, I can put um, that little one. Sorry, got quiet. And probably to my sisters, I'm not going to take anything to make. I'm probably just going to take all my fussy cutting. And at night when we're sitting and watching TV, or in the afternoon when she puts all the kids down for nap time, she closes her eyes for about an hour, hour and a half, if she's lucky, depending on what time all the kids are going home at, because she starts at 5.30 in the morning, and her last child leaves at 4.45, so she almost has 12-hour days. So when the kids have the little nap, she takes, you know, she once the kids go down, then she makes herself lunch, cleans up the kitchen, usually starts dinner. She loves her crock pot, 
and then after that's all done then she'll have a little rest and because I want to be quiet um, I, I end up sleeping in and having a nap with her uh, because the house is dark and quiet <laughs> and my mom's downstairs napping so what do you do when everybody else is napping you nap too this I'm wondering if I should do I don't think a solid color will look as no I think something like that looked really nice just tearing it in a little bit but I kind of want this is a harder card stock so I'm thinking it'll be and this one the it's cut the wrong way but this one is kind of perfect. But the thing I'm trying to do is hoping instead of, oh, maybe pull this. No, I like the blend of the same paper. I really, really do. This one is kind of perfect because I was thinking the flower could go in the center and then the glue, the washi tape. So in this case, I don't think I brought a pencil because I'm just trying to have... uh, pencil, pencil. I had a pencil earlier. I was using a pencil earlier. I write in pens. Pens are my, I love pens, but lately I've been writing everything in pencil. Well, even in my books, my orders for my store, my wishes my swaps I keep it all in I probably have to trim that out down a little bit and I'm not will I use those yes they're great for clusters and I still made that a little longer so I still need to trim this this will just give me an eyeball where to go and yes, I'm not worrying about how straight it is. There we go. Perfect. And I'm not worried about this because i got to add the washi tape. <clears throat> Ooh, I keep falling out of this chair. My butt doesn't want to stay in it. My big butt don't want to stay in it. And she doesn't want a lot of lace, so you're not going to see me use a lot of lace in this one because she doesn't want a lot of lace. And so I think a butterfly will end up being on this one. Um, she doesn't, she didn't want a big frou frou lacy that's not, she said that's not her style. So I do as I, there we go. So let's put some glue on that. I think I, Put the glue up. Oh, hands are sticky. And somewhere I found a tag for this. I made a tag and threw it in one of my boxes that have uncomplete. Oh, I think I know which one already have a tag. I'm just going to pop. This is tags I've made that I was trying to sell and in a thing and they weren't selling so I think it was in there. Some. I'm going to still try to sell them. I just uh, thought I was sure now that I can maybe look in here better. Maybe I took it out saying I better take that out so I use it. No, no, that's those. That's that, that's that. Now I took that out to make sure that I didn't lose it. And now I don't know where I put it. Darn it, why do I do silly things like that? Go through that one more time. No luck. Oh, that's so maddening. Where did I put that? It's going to be in the simplest place, and later when I'm not trying to find it, I'll come across it. And I think I just did. There we go. 
a little perfect in there. So we already have a tag almost started for this. So we can move this book. Now we can put the glue away for a second. And now I gotta figure out how to see where the tape is on this. And I think I'll just take a pair of scissors. Maybe if the scissors will let me do this instead of fighting with it. Somewhere there's another. Holy crow, where else is there? Oh, I think along here. Sometimes that you need a degree just how to get in these boxes. They're so well taped. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, these are beautiful. I think. This might be pretty. So quiet upstairs. I can just hear Jacob's TV. He's so quiet. I finally got Boo Boo to go to sleep. She did not want to sleep today. Yeah, I think that's perfect. But I'm not thinking it's not wide enough. Not quite, but it's, it's the same as these ones. There's that choice. But I don't know if I want to waste as much as this on it. I think that one is the one I want to go with. Yup, yup, yup. I like it. I like it. The other color was this, and now I don't. Let's see. This one, this, no, nope, I like the other. And you hear me talking to myself, telling me what I like. Okay, let's take that out so we can do this. And already in my head, I'm thinking, where are my butterflies? That's what I'm already thinking. Can I leave that along there? I want more of the purple. I should have brought my, I have a ruler here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love this idea of using washi tape. It might be my next favorite thing to do with all my pockets. Fold it over. Just want to make sure that's down. There we go. Trim that up. There we go. Boy, that pocket didn't take long, did it? Nope, nope, nope. Those papers came together really. This is a really fun pocket to make. And these are great to mass make too. And look at how perfect that's going to go in there. Perfect. I just need an image on it. And we're going to go ahead and put this right into the book. Oh, well, we better check the time first. Oh, no. Oh, we're still good. I thought we got 12 minutes. So we have enough time to put the pocket in. Um, but these would be great for mass making. Perfect. Now, if I didn't, if I wanted to add, instead of using the brown, what I might do to keep it within the color, I don't know if I've got enough purple on this. I don't want it to be too, too dark, so I might just take my, my one with, that I have purple on it. And add the purple. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And I am going to make another pocket because I'm going to put a large tag and I think on the back line paper so that if she wants to write a to-do list or uh, that that can be done. Let me put this back in here. This washi tape she got me is 
beautiful. I was needing purple washi tape. Love it. Probably ain't going to last long, I can say that much. I love purple. It's my favorite color. And she said in, in it, there was another washi, which is what I've been wanting. is some more vintage -y kind of washi. So, I don't know if there was butterflies in here that I could have used. Just trying to see if there was. Just thought if there was, I couldn't remember what was all in here. If there's a purple of these, I might stick that in the pocket. Just as decoration, not as, uh, so I'm going to pull out my glue now. Hopefully. I lost the top to this. I know I need to get one of those uh, bead things that everybody uses. But for that to be shipped to me in Canada would be very expensive because it's so bulky. Well, this isn't going to help my situation with This one got really clogged up. Ooh. There we go. I have to give that a good clean later. Let's see if we can get glue out of it. We'll just tip it upside down for a moment, let it run to the bottom. I have to give this a good clean. I may be. Oh, come on. Come on. Make your way to the bottom. Come on. Oh. This sometimes hurts my hand. Especially right now, my hands are so cracked. And sore. Just one hand. I only get it on one hand. I was sometimes a little here, but come on. Because you're so clogged, you won't come. Well, it might not be able to glue the pocket on, guys. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get to glue the. I'm going to have to play with that and get that fixed unless my other glue will work. Yep, that'll teach me to lose the lids. They fall off. Those little lids are. They put them on the desk and then I knock them somewhere and then they're gone. All my glue is like half to the bottom, so I end up opening a new one because I get tired of fighting it to the top. And because it's got no lid, I can't leave it upside down. Come on. And I know everybody says, buy that glue that everybody uses. But it's so expensive, I can't justify it here in Canada. Is it called Art Glitter Glue or something like that? I see you guys use... Once I get it to the down there, it's not bad. Okay, now let's put that pocket on. And then we'll just have to fill that pocket. There we go. And this journal has a pocket. And it's almost, already got half of a tag done. And I'm going to make a wider tag and tall tag to go up in here. There we go. I'm happy. There we go. So we got two pockets made. And a lot of talking. And I, I this I got one another one started here. Um these are great to make tags with. I mean, of course, there. 
you have that. But I a lot of times I do this as a tag too. And uh, once I back it with paper there and I collage on it, it becomes much thicker. And I, I love using paper bags. Um, it's, there we go. There we go. I gotta just put that washi tape. I just want to thank you ladies for joining me today. And I apologize for no Merry Monday. Um, and then I will do a Merry Monday. Well, Monday is a holiday here, but I still try to do it. And I'm going to try to do a video to Monday and Tuesday. But on Wednesday, I catch the train out and I'm gone. And I don't have a place there to, to videotape. So I will be gone for two weeks. Um, and my phone won't hold like I could... I might do um, one for Wednesday on Tuesday night and then upload it Wednesday. Um, but then after that, my phone does not hold enough. It doesn't have enough space for me to do like four videos and save them and upload them, unfortunately. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Um, we're going to do Get Your Chic On uh, for my May design team with Rachel and Bella. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye for now.